Okay. So at the heart of the matter, they're asking whether or not girls and boys are raised differently, if they're schooled differently. Um, and that's really what the heart of the matter of Wollstonecraft's um, essay is about, is education. So really, it's going to depend on whether you see a difference. Back in Wollstonecraft's age, the mother would typically educate the daughter. The men would go off to Oxford or Cambridge and go to finishing school, and then they would go and go be lawyers and doctors and politicians. However, my main criticism with Wollstonecraft and how it translates today is that only a certain demographic or, or um, social standing were able to be educated. Wollstonecraft was lucky. She was born into an affluent family, so therefore she could be educated. If you were born of any other economic standing, you did not get educated. You just, it did not happen. So therefore, I don't think the argument is really whether or not it still stands, because I think it's very obvious that yes, it, it's still a problem. But I would certainly encourage you to explore the fact that yes, she was educated and she calls for equalization, but yet she says that men are still inferior or women are still inferior to men um, because God says so. Uh, and we should still respect that. But I, if I were you on this assignment, would think about how things really haven't changed from her age, how education is still inaccessible uh, to those of different socioeconomic backgrounds, um, including the struggle of women from those socioeconomic backgrounds. And that's where I think you'll find your answer and it'll be very easy for you to do your eight sentences. Thank you.